it's Justin Adams here, live from 420 in Los Angeles, California. Hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Thanks for tuning into this video if you are watching right now. I haven't done a Q&A since I moved here four months ago from Pennsylvania. I mean, I mean, it's probably been a hot minute even since I did one. But anyway, thank you for your submissions and all your questions and all that. Mostly off of Facebook. Uh, a few off of Instagram and Snapchat even and Facebook Messenger. Thank you guys for partaking in this. I'm going to start off in order here with my dude, Taryn Carter. Do you know how to play the guitar? Well, some people think I don't. Some people think I'm amazing at it. I personally think I do well at it, but it's always something I can get better at, just like anything else. Moving on to Andy. I don't know how to pronunciate your name. So I'm just gonna go by Andy Hollywood since you live in Hollywood. You've been a pretty damn good friend here so far in LA. And you had some questions here, quite a few. But uh, we'll skip around. Uh, we'll go with your first one. Favorite color of M&Ms? I, you know, that's a really good question. I think you got me here on the spot, but I, I, they all taste the same to me. But let's go with blue, because they look cool. Favorite shape of pasta? I, I guess the, Hair? They call them hair noodles or something like that. Like the fuck you. I don't. I don't know the names of this shit. The different shapes, uh, isn't it? Yeah, but the angel hair. Angel hair. That's it. Yeah, that that'd be my favorite. Type. And then Jerry Gribble, one of my best friends from PA, and my white. Well, yeah, <laughs> say the least. <laughs> You're very white, but so am I. It's okay. Uh, Jimmy Thomas, would you play at a gay bar? Of course. I mean, anywhere you'll have us. I mean, I'm not going to discriminate just because, you know, I'm not personally gay. I mean, don't, don't tell anybody that. Don't ruin my reputation by telling anybody that I'm not gay, okay? All right. Um, my favorite band, by, that's submitted by Sandra Fisher, Black Bell Brides. I uh, just saw them about a month ago at the Roxy in West Hollywood. Amazing. I have a compilation video on my wall, on my Instagram, somewhere. You can find that if you really are interested. And, oh, Jerry, I have another question. What's your favorite porn star name? You're very white, but so am I. Erotic. Thunder Kiss. Amanda Kelly. My aunt's going down to LA for the first time. What would you recommend for her to check out? Also, what's the best beach to go to? Well, there's tons of places in LA, so where do I start? Uh, well, I'll start with the beaches. The best beach that I personally have been to is Santa Monica Beach, uh, with the Santa Monica Pier and all that that you can see in like GTA 5. It's called like the Del Rey Pier. Yeah, I know, the GTA 5 references, they still haven't left my system. I like it, it's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, you're not going to get crazy waves or anything, but water's a little cold, to be honest, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, the environment's great. I don't think you can go wrong with too many California beaches. You got the Hollywood sign, you got downtown, you got Hollywood. There's tons of tourist attractions there. You got West Hollywood. If you're into rock and roll, you can go to the Whiskey, Roxy, the Rainbow, uh, the Troubadour. All kinds of clubs around that you can go see shows. Not even just West Hollywood, Hollywood itself. You know, downtown, Silver Lake even has a few good venues. And, yeah, I mean, honestly, those are the... There's um, the Museum of Death, that's in Hollywood as well. I've been to it, and it's a very, very interesting place. You'll be hooked. <laughs> you know, just make sure you have a good amount of time to check out that place, because it'll hook you. It's just so fascinating. Yeah, I know, the Museum of Death, it, it really is. Check it out. All right, uh, moving on. Have you been to the Hollywood sign yet? If so, did you see anything strange there? This is by Ruth Such. I believe that's how you pronounce that. I've been to the Hollywood sign as close as I could. Uh, I wasn't like right on top of it by any means, but as close as you can get, maybe, maybe 4,000, 5,000 feet away from it. Uh, but I didn't see anything strange there, really, other than me. Uh, Robert Harvey, have you ever been so far decided to use, even go once to do look more like? Yes. Oh, Jerry, I had another one. 
What is one topic to... Okay, okay, I think you missed word of this. What is one topic I like to write about when I sit down to write a song? Okay, that's what you meant. Uh, well, I don't really just, you know, do this and go, oh, write a song. You know that, Jerry. I just, it just kind of comes to me. You know, I'm personally just more into personal lyrics and what I'm feeling at the moment. You know, go listen to the album Margo Fools. That'll give you a good idea because I wrote a good quantity of those lyrics on that album. I think that's all for the Facebook. Let me... No, no, it's not. Okay, we have a few here. Yet. Holly Shock. What is your favorite type of holiday cookie? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, probably just a sugar cookie, honestly. Really good. What is your favorite type of cake? Ooh, we're getting sweet here. Ooh, that's a really good one because I really like cake a lot. Because uh, you got red velvet, peanut butter, chocolate. Those would probably be the two that it would compete for my number one spot cake-wise. Uh, I'd go with peanut butter and chocolate, though. Just a slight edge over red velvet. And I'm just going to double check. Oh, okay, I do have more for the Facebook. All right, Andy. Now, she's an interviewer. She's interviewed quite a few bands, so she gave me the uh, interviewer rundown. Well, what's your least favorite song to perform off of the album, Argument of Fools? Uh, that would be Stonewall. I just think it's the weakest track on the album. It's still a decent okay song, it's just there's some parts that irk me about it, honestly, <laughs> especially the verses. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go too into that. Well, uh, number two, what song do you wish you wrote and why? Oh man, yeah, there's so many, so many. I, I feel like I've said this about thousands. How do you just pick one that, <laughs> I mean, I, I guess the one that comes to mind is Sweet Child of Mine, that riff at the beginning, the leads and the lyrics, obviously, and just how catchy it is, you know, yeah, I, I suppose that's why it's good enough for me. Anyway, what is a theme that tends to transpire between songs? A theme? Do you mean, oh, fuck, if you're talking about, like, on stage while I'm performing a theme, well, it's me talking to the crowd, typically, or changing out my guitar, yeah, when we we'll, we'll hang out, we'll have to discuss that one better because I'm not 100% sure what you mean. What lead, well, what led you to guitar over any other instruments? That's a really good question too. I, I would say, yeah, it was just uh, at the time, just the way my personality was. I was 16 years old, 15 years old when I was first getting into the idea of playing guitar. And... I was more shy and everything, and you know, as you know, guys know I'm a vocalist now, but I was more shy and everything, so I didn't want to sing, you know, or anything, so I was way too anxious to sing, so, uh, guitar was really easy, you know, because I could still express myself, make noise, but without having to speak, you know, out loudly or anything, and, uh, just, just, you know, the bit, you know, just, like, guitarists, like, you know, Sister Gates, and, uh, uh, Michael Padgett from Bullet for Valentine, and, uh, Dave Murray, and, uh, Kirk Hammett, trying to think of guitarists I was really into, Jim Root from Slipknot, uh, he's a guitarist I was really into when I first started playing, and just, you know, just shreddy solos and stuff like that, riffs, I uh, just, yeah, really what drew me in. What instrument do you wish you knew? Well, I, I don't know any instruments personally. I never, I mean, I talk to my instruments. I swear my instruments have feelings. You know, every time I bang my guitar, I, I, you know, I go, ouch. But what, no, I know what you mean. I'm being a jackass. Uh, what, what instrument do I wish I knew how to play? You mean, uh, I guess the drums. I mean, but I don't, wish because it's like at the end of the day if I really want to do it that badly I just do it you know because I play guitar and I sing you know I don't have to wish you know so yeah a good question uh, what fictional cool uh, what yeah. I can speak English sometimes uh, what fictional world do you wish you lived in Harry Potter that's so easy <laughs> Harry Potter I fantasize about this like probably at least once a month I'll be like I'll be honest I'll be like man what's it like to live that like <laughs> Hogwarts and be able to go, you know, uh, ridiculous, ridiculous, so <laughs> I mean, you ever seen their speech, or, uh, 
spells that speeches. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Harry Potter, Hogwarts. How long would you survive in the zombie apocalypse, and what skills do you bring to the table? <laughs> if anything, you know, my high-level anxiety would actually, you know, make me persist for a good period of time. I couldn't tell you how long this shenanigans would last, but... Yeah, anxiety, there we go. That's my skill I'm gonna bring to the table in the zombie apocalypse. Favorite Halloween costume you ever done? Uh, it was a few years ago, I think it was 2014 of Halloween, I did uh, Paul Stanley, No Kiss. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you go way back into my archives, yeah, my archives. Like, uh, I had Paul Stanley makeup on. It, it, it actually looked decent. I'm, I'm no expert makeup, so I was pretty proud of myself on that one. Okay. All right, that's enough, Andy. That's enough. That's all your questions. And then we have Instagram here. We have Mio What Fox. What scale do you use when you improv? Pentatonic scales and and just um, Phrygian and minor scales. What is the most beautiful thing that you've come across? Uh, there's lots, because especially when I moved across the country. And on the way up, there was a lot of beauty, you know, if you guys really never have gone across the country, like, you guys should do it. There's lots of beauty to be seen across the country. And, uh, I would say the Grand Canyon, you know, as far as, like, uh, non-man-made things. It was definitely the Grand Canyon. It was just like, you know, you see it in pictures and you're like, okay, this is dope looking. And then you go there and you're just like, oh my God. God, <laughs> it's amazing. Definitely go there. Can I love you? You, you, you can love me. That's absolutely fucking fine. Love you back too. Yeah, I mean, eh, hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm coordinated with my hands. Okay. All right. Let's see if there's any more. Let's go around. Okay. This is what this was from Twitter. Taryn, do you have Twitter? No. 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 I don't. Actually, what is Twitter? And this was from Snapchat. This is the last one. I'll be answering. This is from my friend Missy back in PA. What happened to the band and how it was living in LA? And a lot of you have asked this, and I forget who's all asked this, but a lot of you had. She, she just asked me this today, right before the video. So that's why she's getting a more of a specific shout out. Uh, what happened to the band in PA was basically it dissolves, people were just leaving, you know, there's, the hearts were in it, we had to kick out a few people and stuff like that, just, you know, people's hearts weren't into it, you gotta be motivated, you gotta be passionate if you wanna make it in the music industry, so, yeah, you know, some people had to go, some people just chose to quit, you know, that's just how it goes. And how I was living in LA, well, it's been great so far. I've had some down moments. I mean, you know, my car breaking down in the middle of traffic and having to get that towed and almost having to move out of this apartment here. And yeah, but I mean, other than that, it's been great. I mean, meeting loads of friends, uh, just going to the whiskey and like the rainbow and whatnot and just various shows around LA and uh, just Ubering I made some really good friends and it's been good uh, like honestly the weather is great people are great the food's great the, there's so much diversity uh, it's very open here you know people are very a lot more open-minded and it's just, I don't know, it's just been a good experience a good getaway you know from where I was living and whatnot and uh, yeah, currently to kind of further that question, uh, no, 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 this current moment, no current members, just, you know, holding auditions and haven't come across the right members yet, but give it time, I've been here four months. So that's basically what's going on in the ocean world. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys question wise. I'll be doing one of these down the road again. Thank you for anybody that participated. Uh, feel free to message me with any further questions or anything, just keep in touch, whatever, it's cool. Appreciate you guys. Um, make any suggestions for new videos, I'll try to tackle those as well. Uh, again, thanks for watching guys.